Hey guys, good morning. So after my video number one, you have to watch that number one. You have to create a routine and establish more time in your day. Yes, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it again. If you have missed it or you didn't understand something, go back and review that. Because after you're done with that video, you can see this one. This is Eat Your Frog Today. And if you have read the book, it comes with the inspiration from the book, Eat That Frog from Brian Tracy. Love that book. That book is on time management. And that's something that I struggled a long time ago. And I still sometimes work, had to work more on because I didn't have I didn't have a control of my time so sometimes I was just wandering around and then I didn't know how I didn't get to my work my workout why my kids couldn't go to the uh, summer camp Wow, I felt so overwhelmed and so tired but it was because I didn't have a I have established a routine and a way to prioritize my life so this is my gift to you I'm gonna share with you everything that I learned from this book, Eat That Frog. If you haven't read it, go ahead and buy it, read it, listen, or uh, and follow all the tips. So this is my uh, the content into a small portion. Eat That Frog from uh, today. First of all, and like I said, if you haven't established your roles, you have to go to video number one and establish your roles based on that make a list of everything that you have to do in your day dump, brain dump like i said uh just everything like from picking up your kids from school to uh cook clean go teach that class go to work and write it down okay even the things that you want to do you want to listen to the book audiobook for 30 minutes everything write it down write it down make a huge list now go back and review that list. And I want you to establish uh, your number one priorities. And number one priorities based on your roles, remember, you there will be your A items, meaning that you're gonna put a letter A next to that item. So if, you, if your list was uh, go pick up the kids from school, that's an A. Nobody else can do it but you. It has to be done. It's a priority. It's not like um, it can be skipped. Somebody needs to go pick up the kids. You know what I mean? And if that's your role, you have to put it there. Uh, that's your A item. B items, and you're going to classify every single uh, thing that you listed. B items are the items that are important, not emergencies, but they're important to be done that day. But if it doesn't happen, it's okay. For example, I prepare a lot of the uh, training for my team and I give myself a time frame, which I use like a week to prepare my training for two weeks later. So I have that whole week. So if by Monday, I, I had to work on that, that week but if by monday i couldn't finish i could do it on tuesday you know what i mean that's my b priority okay c uh is something that you can um that is not important you can actually move it like cleaning the garage you can move it for sunday you have it in your head you know that you have to do it you would like to get to done to do that today but if you can do it it can wait until sunday next week you know, it's not that important. So you took it out of your head, you put it in the paper and you determined that that could be readjust and rescheduled in another time. Then your item Ds. These are the ones that you can delegate to others. Hey, the dishes need to be done. But if you have children that are able to, why don't you de 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 uh, you uh, give this, um, things to do for your children and you make them a little bit more responsible make a list put a calendar on the on the refrigerator so they can follow it you you see what i'm doing so then you prioritize 
into ABCD method. That's how Brian Tracy says. And then, of course, I'm gonna have like six items that are gonna be A, like emergency, they need to be done today, no matter what. From those eight items, then I will determine which one is number one, two, three, four. And I'll add time frame to that. It is complicated? No, it's not. Once you write it down, it's gonna make sense. So go and, for example, I had to pick up the kids from school. I have to practice my routine. I have to invite two events. And those three are important and they have to be done today, no matter what, but I have to take the kids to school. That's A1. When I come back from uh, home after dropping them off, that will be time for me to start working on the routine. That's A2. And finally, A3 will be the other things. And you put the time frame. So 7, 6.30 to 7.30, I will be dropping off the kids from school. 8.30 to 9.30, I'll be working on the routine and so forth. Make sense? I know my nose is all congested, but you know what? You heard me. What is your routine? Which are your roles? and how are you gonna eat that frog? And the content of, you, of eating that frog means that you had to do the things that are most important and that will determine your future and that will change your current activity by doing those important things today. And there are like uh, this other book that I love, it's uh, from uh, um, Darren Hartley, it's, uh, just to prioritize those little things that look insignificant but done in a daily basis are the things that are going to change dramatically your future but they have to be done in a consistent way every single day that's what will determine your success because success is nothing else but be consistent in the things that will move you forward in your business, nutrition, exercise, and whatever. So I hope this video helped you. Let me hear back from you. I wanna hear uh, your questions, your comments, and how did it go? Did you implement this? You have, you need more tips on how to implement this? Let me know, I'll be happy to help. And uh, again, thank you so much for being in this group. It means a lot to me. This is my way to pay back before, uh, you know, a few years ago, I was there on the other side. I didn't know how to organize my life, how to eat healthy, how to feed my kids. And I believe this is my way to pay back and to use all the gifts that I learned, all the knowledge I accumulated throughout the years. So I hope you like it. And if you feel like you want to be part of this, I'll invite you over to the next group. It's going to be a little bit longer. But those consistent things, they're going to be consistent for more time and it become your routine, your new habits. So stay tuned. Send me a message if you want more information on that. Take care. Have a blessed day.